Hello and welcome. Let's uh, talk about the stock market a little bit as today's date is uh, July the 6th, 2018. As we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrials going back over one century. This is over 100 years. And we're looking at the yearly term time frame or that of a 12-month chart. And amongst its pattern, it has managed to have a, a, a stock market crash and I hesitate because well this move in here went below the 18 average but to reverse a trend stage one was banned flattening out so during the years of like 1930 and 31 that was what was happening the band was flattening so stage two established a level of support that was established at 40 stage three come back to the band which it did but it corrected it successfully for in here support was magical well it went through so since a correction through time throughout the 19 late 30s into the 40s it managed a nice leg higher up until the 60s then a nice correction through time that a very large price explosion from 1982 to 19 or from 2000 and 2000 nothing really getting in the way maybe there might have been a so-called 1987 stock market crash but I mean do you see it on the yearly it's this little move here which the didn't even get to the 18 and then the, oh remember that 2008 panic yeah that was a correctionary move to the rising 18 it hasn't even flattened out it being the band since of course it last left the sideways band in the early 1980s it's the level of resistance it established at its last fantastic move higher has now been starting to move well, well above the 18 average. So is the stock market overextended? Well, that's up for others to decide. Back at this low, silver also reached a low too of about 25 cents. So considering the low was about 40, then we can say that the ratio was about 160, meaning you needed 160 ounces to get one share of the Dow. As a decade turned over into the, into the 70s, at the end of 1969 in here, silver was only a dollar and a quarter. That's it. It would soon rally from there. But with the Dow Jones priced at about 865, then the ratio obviously risen to close to 600 to 1. And then in January of 1980, in here when the, when the, the Dow was basically 1,000, silver was 50. So that would make that ratio slide all the way to 20 to 1. Incredible. And then as the... Uh, the decade millennium was coming into play in the year 2000. Silver was about $4 in here. So at a $10,000 Dow, that would rate uh, a ratio of about 2,500 to one. During the top of silver in 2011, that happened roughly at around, maybe we'll say around $12,000 Dow. That would mean the ratio would have been about 240 to 1. And now we stand at $24,300 Dow and a little over $16 silver, which makes the current ratio greater than 1500 right now. Which means since this point in here, the stock market has still undervalued that of silver. But of course, silver was so depressed in prices back then. As some might say, including myself, it still is today, as we've seen what was 160 to 1 ratio and 620 go a lot higher. For I would like to be able to play the stock market in the sense of going long and holding 
that of actual shares in a company. But when I say holding it, that means tangibly holding it, sort of like how cryptocurrencies can be stored in hard wallets. I think in the future, there's a good chance that's going to come into place. And I've came up with calculations based on some uh, key Fibonacci that the upside Fibonacci that I was going over in a previous series that because 3000 and change was not resistance back in the 1990s that would have set off a target that price action should come to pretty much where we stand now and 24,000 and change so it's at a very very interesting point so for me I'm not gonna say anything too wild in that I will I think where we go from here is either one of two measures. If we resist now, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a move that comes at least down to this area. Whether it can do more, who knows, but that would be the most conservative level of support that I can give is right back to this area in which it came from. And of course it could go further. And this is an and or situation. This could happen first and then the outcome afterwards. If this level is not much resistance, or it does something like this, or even it could even do something like this, and that would be crazy if it went to 2700 and back up. That would be cool in a sense, but markets are going to do what they're going to do, obviously. But I'd be looking at a break above resistance, and then I'm looking at the yearly term time frame. So this should happen relatively fast, maybe within 7 to 12 years. And who knows, maybe even within a year or two. I think this would go to about a quarter million to a million on the Dow. That, that, that's it. Because when we didn't get resistance at 3,000, that was a telltale sign that it was going to 24. If we don't get resistance at 24, that's a telltale sign we're going to half a million in my book. In my mathematical calculations, rather. And that is because... Uh, I think this was 168, 268, and this is 161% Fibonacci upside. This is 261, and 423 is in at uh, what, uh, half a million dollars. And we're at a time where hyperinflationary moves wouldn't surprise me. And for what it's worth, if there ever happens to be a situation of a quote-unquote dollar collapse, then stock markets that can survive these enduring economic monetary times and stay ahead of the game or stay within the game, that is, not survive and in most cases thrive, but just even that of survive and still do well enough, that the stocks I think you hold will maintain its value. And thus, if it comes to a day and age where dollars don't exist, quote unquote, then maybe the stocks you bought in dollars you might later sell in cryptos or in some sort of silver gold backed fund type thing who knows still for me if i was to take a time machine and or i was forced to only hold one asset and i put in like a, a whatever case a suitcase or what however you want to transport it but it can only take one item for 20 years i could only take that of silver because i couldn't take fiat currency Obviously, stocks would be very difficult to sell in 20 years if that's all you had after like almost uh, just being paused through time like a frozen ice for 20 years or however you want to pour, or portray this situation. But to hold just one thing for 20 years, cash could be worth nothing. Crypto Bitcoin, it may not survive in any of its other cryptos. And gold, although it would be the front runner or second place to silver, I think uh, silver is at a spot where you are holding a, a raw material that to me is in no competition of other things that can do what it, that, that being silver, does. But I'm talking about the stock market here. Yeah, I think it's either going to top out soon and then correct back into this 18. It's still due for an 18 average correction. So I think ideally, and when I say this I'm sarcastic, Ideally, what would be best for the market would maybe be something like the following. And that's to top at where we are. To have your 18 test, but ultimately fail. So the 18 would go over. 
you'd establish a level of support. But unlike 1929, this time maybe resist around the 18, come down here and maybe have a nice little capitulation move and come back to where we came from within the 1960s and 70s levels, a retracement back down to 1,000 and then lift off higher because then when we take a look at this from stuff like the, well, we'll just do a longer term time frame. And as much as they try, they will not let me do any more than the yearly term time frame as I put 999 days, it does this. If I put in 50 months, it keeps it the same. But at least it can correct something like maybe it's five or 10 year 18 moving average of highs, which would be somewhere at around like two or 3,000, 1,000. Of course, again, I'm being sarcastic of a stock market move that would lose 24 times its value. But then I also asked to myself, could something like that even mathematically be possible? Possible? Some may say no. It's there's only so far down that it can go. And we're in an inflationary target market. Well, that's where my target of one quarter million. If we don't see much resistance long term at this 24,000, well, that's where I'm thinking it's going to go. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.